everybody. Welcome to The What Now with Jeff Weber. My guests come from all corners of the music business and the entertainment business as we examine careers and perspectives from the inside out. To have a career in our business, it takes a lot more than simply being amazing at what you do. And with the world and our business being in such a swirling cyclone of trepidation, uncertainty, and outright speculation, we try to answer the question on all of our minds, what now? I am unbelievably pleased to welcome Christina Liang from Taipei, Taiwan, to uh, my show today. Uh, Christina is a fantastic highly celebrated film composer in Taiwan and is busier than uh, I have, you know, just, it, it's just monumental that she even has the time to do this. Uh, a little bit about Christina. She focuses mostly on uh, um, concerts, uh, television shows, film. She is an arranger and a composer, and uh, I, I'm truly honored to have her with us. Uh, our relationship is interesting because it it spans uh, almost two decades, and um, I'm I, I'd like Christina. Why don't you uh, explain uh, how our association developed and how it came to being with with the records that we've done and what we're doing now? Hi, hello, Jeff. It's so nice to be here. Uh, yeah, I think we went all the way back to almost twenty years ago, right? Mm. <laughs> Yes. Oops, uh, <laughs> the age revealed. Um, yeah, uh, you were my teacher back in UCLA Extension, and mm -hmm. uh, I, I remember you taught music business. Is that right? That's right. Record so production like and music yeah. business. Yeah, right, right. And then uh, I remember, I don't know what's got gotten into me, and I just uh, show you my uh, demo uh, on the music, and uh, the music that I did. You know, like it's the style of you know, like crossing over Western music and Eastern music together. And you, I remember you were thrilled when you listened to my demo and, and that's how our uh, relationship began. <laughs> it was amazing because I, I do remember <laughs> that <clears throat> you're, be, because you spent so much time in the United States and so much time outside the United States, you had a love and a respect for not only the, uh, the culture and the storytelling and the instrumentation of your culture and where you were brought up, but you also had a reverence and an understanding of American Western music. And so it was your compositional qualities when you created this uh, kind of mashup, for example, you know, it really spoke to me because it combined rhythm and storytelling that uh, really amped me up at the time. I, I thought it was uh, fascinating. Uh, and uh, just to continue with what Christina, what you were saying is that we decided to uh, work together in uh, Los Angeles. And we made a record that featured both Western instrumentalists and Eastern in instrumentalists. Some of the instruments I had never even seen before <laughs> and, uh, you know, it was, it, it was such a interesting thing. I remember that first record, <clears throat> we had, you know, two percussionists, one guy just sat on the floor. Right. And, <laughs> yes. and, and he was doing things that, that we hadn't even seen, you know, he would, he would uh, yeah. bang on a gong and then dip it in water, you know? So the exactly. vibration of the, yeah, I mean, it was just, a, a, a that was music. awesome. <laughs> an explosion <laughs> of untried, uh, you know, untried things that really uh, worked for us. And it, mm -hmm. it was, it, it was unique. It was different, uh, it, it, but it also told a story. And, and, and I would like to talk about that a little bit because your music, your creations, each song 